big moment first unboxing video of art supplies uh, this has come from Jackson's Art Supplies, uh, ordered it a few weeks ago, um, having watched Les Darlow do some magical things with pan pastels. Now we all had a joke at our art group, who was going to be the first to get pan pastels? Um, also debate over whether or not we could use each other's addresses because obviously our other halves don't like us buying lots and lots of art equipment. Um, but here we are, managed to buy some. Uh, this one arrived earlier, uh, it's titanium white, uh, came packaged quite well, nice bit of bubble wrap, uh, one pan pastel there. Also bought a white marker in the same shop. So let's have a look, see what's in this. Um, I ordered a trial kit to start off with because uh, pan pastels are actually quite expensive. I was quite surprised, shocked and stunned. So here we go. Let's get rid of the cardboard. That's the kit itself. So, nicely taped down and folded in. I do like Jackson's art supplies. They do know how to do know how to send a parcel. This I think this is the most exciting bit about art is, is getting the new materials if I'm honest. And so here we go. Package is getting smaller and smaller. Uh, so we've got a, a blend and apply pastel like paint kit. Uh, this is the trial drawing colours. Um, so let's have a look inside. We've got two colours and some tools. Uh, crikey, here we go. So we've got uh, two colours there. We've got um, sort of a reddy colour and a black. I wonder how they come apart. Yeah. Just like that. So obviously they all stack quite nicely, which is good. I'll add to that point. Uh, we've got some tools in here, and tool applications and the tools. Looking forward to having a go with this. And uh, apply pan pastels like colour. Information leaflet, hopefully. With all the colours listed down, and soft tools. actually quite exciting isn't it um, so yeah there we go this is the colors you get in the trial kit you get black uh, sort of a reddy brown and I bought white uh, as an extra color um, so I've got some options to do some tonal sketching um, the pen we'll talk about in another video we won't worry about that for now um, so I guess the next thing to do is to uh, to try the colors and see how we get on I'm just using a piece of sugar paper to start off with, which I've taped down to my board. Some stronger looking masking tape by looks of things. Now, I believe what you do is just gently rub off some of this pastel so it's on the applicator and then gently just rub it into the paper. Just trying to create some clouds here, I think. Quite, uh, let's make a sort of a and then another cloud, maybe here. Um, the pastel itself is, is coming off quite nicely. Uh, I think this is 
Gonna take a bit of practice getting used to. Uh, Les made this look very easy in his demonstration. Yeah, so I guess it's uh, just making these clouds just a little bit. Nice thing about these pan pastels from is once you've put them into the paper, apparently it doesn't really rub off, which is nice. Uh, and I'm just going to put one more streaky cloud through here. And then just add to the top of the cloud there. And maybe bring that cloud in front of that cloud. So I'm kind of happy with the sky. I'm just wondering if I can add a bit more blend to it. Actually quite a nice tool to work into the clouds with. Yeah. Quite happy with that. Now I wonder how you get the dust off. I'm just gonna I guess I clean up the tool like that. And I'll put a bit of land in down the bottom here. The powder comes off quite nicely. So let's see, let's put a Kind of a horizon in here. Ooh, that's nice. So I wasn't expecting that colour to be so. Just gently, gently pulling that colour away from the where I put it onto the. I might go a bit higher into the, make a bit of a mountain there, make a bit of a hill rather than a mountain, and just sort of make it blend into the clouds. There we go, that's quite nice. Um, just add in some more to that edge there. I can probably make that come out into the clouds as well. There, it's got some nice. Uh, so that's the brown colour. Now, I wonder if we can use the edge of this tool to maybe create a tree shape here. Put a few in, I think. Just making this up as I go. The pastel seems to sit on top of the underpainting, underpainting quite well. And if I use, I if I can use the tip just to make some sort of tree shapes here. Oh. 
uh, and some tree in there as well. I think I'm gonna yes it's certainly gonna it's only a different experience to creating here um, um Maybe a few trees in here as well, just to balance it out a bit. It's a bit there. This is only a sort of a test piece. That's sort of a bit some. Um, just. Bring us some of that brown across there again. Just to strengthen up that foreground a bit. Yeah, a little bit messy now. I wonder if we can mix the colour. Just add in some. So I think <clears throat> what I'm learning here is that you you only need to apply the colour once. If you uh, go over, it starts to muddy up that colour. I'll put some more black here. Let's see if we can get some more black in there. Maybe we'll put a tree in here. Just to finish things off, uh, fine. Just, uh, just a suggestion of something in here, just to give me some balance there. That's it. So this is uh, again. This is just the a trial starter pack that I've got from uh, a bit of a bit of something there. Not sure what that is. Um, well, one of the things I guess you need to do, you can do, is just demonstrate taking that. That's quite a tight fit, so. That's quite an interesting thing to do. So there we go. Just a quick test there. Oops, get rid of that. Whatever that is. Quick test there, just to see how the colours apply. Um, tools seem to come off quite easy and go on quite easy. Uh, this comes as part of the. The kit, I'll maybe not put them on my dirty fingers, but come back, give them a wash. So you get one oval shaped applicator, an oblong applicator, triangular, and then four of these that sit on the tool. Uh, as I say, this is the trial kit. You only get one lid, um, when, well, you get two lids because I've got a white, but I only get one lid. Uh, but all three do stack together, which is that's quite a nice feature. So there you go. Pan pastels. I think we give that a thumbs up. <laughs>